Hi, everybody. I'm meteorologist Joe Chaffee, and uh, this is the overnight GFS run, which I have to tell you quite honestly, I'm not sure what to make of this. Um, for one thing, well, let's get first things first. This is the first weather system for Tuesday, and it really weakens it quite a bit, kind of catches up to what the Europeans idea. It has a much weaker low going out underneath us, which would reduce any threat of any kind of coastal low, but we're just going to wait for another couple of runs to see if, uh, if anything changes. And then that goes by, and then everything's pretty much the same as we've been showing over the last uh, couple of days. This big ridge builds back into the east. You have a pretty strong system that comes into the west here, right there, along about uh, late Wednesday into Thursday, and then it crashes into the west coast. And then after that, I'm really not quite sure what to make of all of this. Now, this is not going to be any kind of a uh, weather system other than rain, of course, for the uh, as we start to go into the middle of the month. But it's what happens after that that I'm not really ready to buy. But it closes off a, a little vortex here south of Hudson's Bay, kind of makes its own cold air. And it gets colder here for sure. And then ultimately... We have another weather system that comes into the west that crashes down into the southwest. Now, again, I'm very skeptical of all this. Uh, there's a lot of things going on in Canada. I'm not sure how much of this is real and how much is not real. You get a uh, vortex that winds up getting into the Gulf of Alaska, which brings a little ridging into the west coast. It, it has kind of a blocky look to it, but... It's just very confusing to me. So I, I think I'm just going to, I don't want to say toss it, but probably just wait another couple of runs to see if it resolves this differently. And I'm just going to switch real quick to the north to the east so you can see what it actually does in the east. I'm going to bring it back uh, to the very beginning. And you'll be able to see it takes one weak wave out over the weekend that's of no consequence to us. And this is what happens with that supposed coastal low, which is now a much weaker system that it takes out to the east. And, you know, just keeps it dry. And here comes a system in the west that goes up into Minnesota. Now we're into next weekend. And then it has another stronger system. I, now, this is the part I'm not even sure if this is real. Uh, because this ultimately winds up going into Canada and becoming something that drives the pattern. So we'll have to see. It has a, a low that goes into the eastern lakes and then winds up lifting up into Canada. And then you can see it brings up all sorts of things out of the Gulf. So, again, very, very confusing. I will uh, try and zero in on this over the next few days because we all know it's going to change. Uh, but... It is a pretty fascinating pattern with this El Nino the way it is, so we'll see how it all plays out.